This is Brian of Triphonic, and I want to show you one technique that you can use to make uh, something sound like it's old off some wonky tape. Sometimes, you know, a lot of sounds, they're really clean, especially with digital recording and everything. And so part of uh, your job in terms of a musician to give things a sense of a vibe and place and mood um, is to add in character, because inherently now a lot of the instruments we use or software synths they don't necessarily have that much. You kind of have to work at it to, to give it a vibe. So um, one thing that I like to use is this pod farm. Uh, this is by Line 6, and it's mainly uh, an amp simulator. Um, but what you can also do with it is use its effects as standalone plugins. So it has this pod farm elements thing, and I've got the delay effects. And there's one in here called Tube Echo. You can see there's a bunch of different delay effects. Um, or delay algorithms. So what I'm going to demonstrate this with is a string patch that I have. Um, this is actually from the Triphonic album Ninth Wave. If you buy the producer's edition from Triphonic.com, uh, you actually get this instrument. It's one of 26 multi-sample instruments. So uh, check it out. Here it is dry. So it's sort of a surreal string patch. Um, and then uh, what I like to do is add in this pod farm delay uh, to different degrees. And if I crank up the mix here, just so we're mainly hearing it more wet, what I can do is up the amount of flutter, and you get these pitch instability, pitch variation that happens. So it kind of makes it sound like it's off some old broken tape. Um, and uh, so the flutter parameter is really what controls the amount of, of pitch modulation. It's not, um, it's not an exact pitch modulation. It's not like using an LFO. It sort of randomly flutters as opposed to being a, 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 very, a consistent periodic kind of thing. Um, so what I did here is I, I have it fully wet. And so all you're hearing is the delayed signal. Now sometimes this is fine, depends on the context of the piece, but uh, what's going to happen is in this case where I have this, uh, the time of the delay set to a quarter note, um, that's quite a latency to have, especially if I was actually playing this live, it wasn't just a MIDI clip. Um, so one thing that you can do that's actually kind of neat is just turn off the synchronization, and that allows you to go to a finer resolution. I can go all the way down to 20 milliseconds, so it's a really short echo. Um, and so if I'm playing that on the keyboard, then I don't feel the latency as much. So on a lot of the tracks I do, and a lot of the tracks on the most recent album, Ninth Wave, I'll have sounds that are kind of, have this warble to it, and 90% of the time it's this uh, pod farm delays um, to make it sound like it's some old distant sound. And, and what I like to play with is have um, sounds that start like in this kind of distant, old kind of way, and then have them come to the forefront, where it has less of the wet signal and it's more balanced. Um, and, and play with the contrast of the wet and dry to get sort of this more old and new kind of thing, because this sounds like it's off some old tape. As I bring down the mix, you know, it brings it up close. The uh, emphasis on the high frequencies kind of goes away a bit. There's less of that pitch warble that, that you hear. One of the other effects that I've also been exploring recently, and I often use it in conjunction, with um, this echo here is the vocal transformer in Logic. Um, so I'll open that up as well. And so what you have here is uh, essentially a formant shifter. So it's a, it can work both as a pitch shift, um, so if I want to shift the root note of whatever's going through it, or I can shift the formant, so that's the related harmonics. So I have the formant shifted down an octave right here, so 12 semitones. So what I'll do is I'll play you that. Um, I'll turn off this delay for a moment just so you can hear only the vocal transformer. So what you're hearing right now 
that happens is on some of the chords, it has trouble tracking the pitch, and you can see that with this line that's happening right here. Uh, it will wave all over the place, and you hear these artifacts. Um, and so it's, you know, maybe that's its fault of maybe not being the best pitch shifter, but sometimes, you know, you use plugins for their artifacts, and even though sometimes that's a disadvantage, you know, you can use it to your advantage. So in this case, I like the way that that sounds. I like the weirdness that that brings into it. So now I'll play it for you drive for a moment so you can hear it without the vocal transformer. So it sounds like that. And then with the vocal transformer, you can hear the formant shift. So it almost sounds transposed down an octave. Uh, and then I'll bring in the delay, the echoes, the pod farm. So what I like about these effects is they mangle the sound, but they do it in kind of a nostalgic way. So it, it you know gives you the sense of it being an artifact of the past. And I always like exploring things like that. <laughs> 